Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and this is a video about two professional ways that you can add text fields and live preview text to your WooCommerce products. First, I'll walk you through the simple option, which is just adding a text or paragraph field, which allows customers to leave a message or write some kind of special instruction for their customized products. Then in the second half of the video, I'll show you how we can display that text on products in a live preview. So stay with me if you wanna learn how that works. First, let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about here. So for example, if you're selling some kind of gifts and you want people to to be able to add a message to the gift. For example, something like happy birthday. This product options plugin that I'm going to show you how to use today allows people to choose all kinds of different options, including adding text to their products. Here's another example with a personalized birthday cake where we can choose things like the icing color, shape of the cake, as well as adding text onto the cake itself. And I'll even show you later on how we can display this text on the cake itself. So you could see here, I can add the text here and I can resize it, move it around and change its color, which is obviously very useful if you want people to have more customization options when it comes to choosing what they want. Another example is print shops, for example, custom printed t-shirts. And again, I can use this text field and I can edit the color, spacing, sizing, and everything before I click apply and then add that to my cart. So I think by now you get the idea. If I use this paragraph, I can even write multiple lines which will be printed out by the shop once they create this gift card. Now you might think this is difficult to set up, but what's actually cool is you only actually have to set up one text field and you can apply it to any of your products or even all of your products if you want to. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this next section here. So to follow along with the tutorial today, you can actually try an admin demo of the plugin that I'm using today. It's called WooCommerce Product Options. And by using this live demo, you don't actually have to purchase the plugin before you try it out. So you can follow along with me today, save your settings, and when you purchase the plugin, you can even import your settings from this demo. Of course, if you just purchase the plugin or if you're planning on doing so, then after installing and activating it on your WordPress website, then you can go to the WooCommerce products section here and click on product options, which has been added by the plugin. Now you can see here, I have a lot of demo product options set up already. In this case, I think it's actually easier if I show you something that's already set up, but the steps to add a new one are very simple. You just click on add new group, and I'm just going to edit one that already exists. So you can see here at the top, we have the group name. I've given it a specific name so I can remember it for later. You do not have to display this. That's entirely up to you. Now, here's the option where you can choose which products it's going to be applied to, whether it's going to display globally on all products or on specific products. And I've chosen this personalized birthday cake product because there are a lot of unique options that are specific just to the birthday cake. If I wanted to just create a text field and add it to all my products, then I could probably just do away with all these extra options and just keep the custom text option. And then I could apply it to all my products if I wanted to. There's also an option to exclude certain products, but we don't need to bother with that today. Now it's very simple to add a text field using the plugin. All I have to do is click add option, come down here and give it a name. I'm just going to say this one is custom paragraph to make it a little bit different from the other one. And then you have two options. There's the text input and there's the paragraph input, which is the same as the text input. Now these are basically the same, but the main difference is that with the paragraph option, text can be written across multiple lines. So this is going to be important later when we do our live preview and we want to show multiple lines of text on the product. Just the same as the text input. Now for the sake of the customer, we do want to give this a label. Let's call this the birthday card message and let's give this a cost of a flat fee and let's just say $5. You can also choose other types of costs like the quantity based fee or you can even do a character count fee which is unique to the text input option type. But for this, I would recommend a much lower price like 25 cents per character or something like that. In the next part of this video, I'll show you how to set up the live preview. And that does require an add on plugin. 
So we'll get to that in just a minute. Then again, for the sake of the customer, it's a good idea to add a description so they know what this is for. Let me just fill this in. Now, finally, as far as the basic setup goes, you can also make this a required field in case you always need to have this information added by the customer. But I would say this is probably more of an optional thing that I'm setting up, so I'm not going to make it. Then you click on save changes and that will update your option group to include this new text or I should say paragraph option type. If you want to play around with conditional logic like you saw in those demos at the beginning of the video, this is what you see here where I click on this and everything appears and disappears. This is conditional logic and that's set up here at the bottom of the page in the advanced settings. Essentially, you can show this option if you have a match for the following conditions and you can select a condition like, for example, if the color chosen equals lemon yellow, then this option will only appear on the page when the customer chooses the color lemon yellow. This is a bit of a silly example, but this just gives you an idea of how it works. In the case of this demo page, the options that you see below are being shown only when this box is being ticked. That's the condition for the logic to make everything appear. But I don't want to set that up right now, so I'll just leave that out and click on save. Now here we can actually see our product with all of the different option types that are already set up, but let's just scroll down to the custom paragraph, which I just set up. You can see this has been added here and it shows the price as well as the label that I gave it. And this is the description down here. Please write a message to appear in the birthday card. And now when the customer adds their message, then this will be added to the order details and you will get this as the vendor and a copy of it will be sent to the customer as well. By the way, I almost forgot to mention, you can set up the minimum and maximum character limits using these options here. If you want to set a minimum at all, that's entirely up to you, but probably I would set a maximum. Otherwise people could put an entire book in there and you would be forced to figure out what to do with it. So for a paragraph, the number of maximum characters might be something like 500 or so, or a different option type like a text input, it might be much lower, like 50 characters. But that will depend entirely on what the purpose of the text field is for. If it's for printing on a t-shirt, you might even want to pick a lower character limit. Now, here's where things get a little bit more interesting. We're going to set up this live preview option that I teased earlier in the video. So first of all, this is an upgrade and add on to the plugin WooCommerce product options. So you can see here, this is actually a two plugin bundle, but you can't buy live preview on its own. It must be part of a bundle that comes with WooCommerce product options as well. And by the way, you also save money by getting these plugins together at checkout. So if you go ahead and purchase this bundle, then all of the installation steps are basically exactly the same because live preview takes its activation from the product options plugin as well. If you have any issue setting this up, you can check our knowledge base, which details all of the steps to get the live preview add on working. If you go to your settings page and you see this live preview on the settings, then you already know that the live preview plugin is installed and activated and working on your site. So then we can move on to the next steps. So let's head back to our custom paragraph here and let's click on edit this option and let's first enable live preview. Now this comes with a little button which tells people that they can customize this text on the product itself. So I would suggest changing the message to something like preview on product. Now here you'll also get a little message which says you should set the printable areas for each product image by editing the image in the media library. Now that's what we're going to do right now after clicking on save changes. We'll go to our media library and we'll find all the images which are associated with this birthday cake product. So if you click on any random image and you haven't set up a printable area yet, you'll get this message here, printable areas, set printable areas. And then on the image, you can choose from a range of different shapes that can be added and edited, moved around, even rotated. You can use the delete key to reset it, get some new image, new shape, and you can even set up polygon by clicking, clicking on your next pattern, and you can complete that shape, move it around, and obviously delete it if you don't want it. I'll show you what it looks like on this cake product here. I can click on edit printable area, and I've set a printable area for the entire area of this cake here in this rectangle shape. And when you set up a principal area and you click on it here, you also get all of these different options that come with it. So you can allow only one image or text input per area. You can also disable moving, resizing, rotating. This is 
probably a good one to disable if you're talking about text, unless you're allowing for some very custom text layouts. You can also disable font selection and color selection if you need to. Then you can find your different option types to link it to. Now I wanna link this to our custom paragraph that we just set up. So I'm gonna add this in as well and I'll click on apply. So now when I go back to my personalized birthday cake, this is the same image that I just added a printable area to. Now when I add a little message here, then I can click preview on product. And now I can actually play around with the size of the text and different fonts. By the way, the fonts are taken from your website itself. So if you don't have that many fonts installed and set up on your site, there won't be very many fonts to choose from. But let's just choose a font here. Maybe let's go with a different color, bold, a little bit of italics. And again, I can increase the size of this text and I can even center it up by using this button here and put it in the middle of the cake and click on apply. Now, when I click on add basket and I view that item in the basket here, it's got a very small preview, but I can click on preview and I can see how my cake will look before I click on order. And this will also get sent to you as the vendor. So everyone will know what they are getting. So that's all of the basic setup for the text previews. I just want to show you a few more little power options that you can use if you want to set this up in even more complex ways. First thing I want to show you is that you can actually set up multiple printable areas on a single product. So you can see here I've got two different rectangles. One presumably is for an image and the other one could be for a logo or a little bit of text. And by adding the different linked options like the custom text input fields, then that allows people to add different types of images or text into this live preview. It's even possible to set up a front and back of the item. You have two options there. You can either set up one single image with a front and back being displayed, and you can set up your principal areas on each of them, or you can set up two different images and one at a time you can add your principal areas and then you set up multiple text input fields in your product options group. If you really like the printable area that you've set up and you've got similar images that you want to apply it to, you can click on copy areas and then on another image, you can click on paste the areas. And finally, I did already show you some of these steps earlier, but it's a really good idea to make sure you have clear labels, descriptions, and in the advanced settings, I also definitely recommend editing your character limits as well, especially if you're doing something like engravings where setting up the character limit really does actually make a big difference in terms of the cost and time that's, that it takes for you to do your job. And that's pretty much it. That's how you professionally add text areas to your products, as well as add live preview so people can see that text being printed onto those products before they purchase it. WooCommerce product options and the live preview bundle are linked in the description below this video if you wanna get yourself a copy or just test out the admin demo before you purchase it. If this video helped you out today, maybe give it a thumbs up so other people like you can find it and also figure out how to do this in their store. If you're more interested in the other option types that you saw today, like the color swashes, the image buttons and so on, you can check out this video next to see how all of that works in our WooCommerce product options plugin. And of course, thanks for watching.